they get to see us as well, or just here? They, they should only be hearing us right now. They should hear us right now because it's on the. You should hear you and see the match. Right. Yeah. Can you hear us now? Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you guys can hear us because uh, we're about to start the match between Adam Yurchik and Tomaharu Saito. Not yet frozen for them. I meant it's what you're saying. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't see anything you're talking They said they could hear us, but um, a little lagging. I heard we're back. Audio, video, good here. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so. All right. Let's do this. All right. We'll try to work. <laughs> Once again, this is the quarterfinals of Grand Prix Oakland. On the left of your screen, we have Tomoharu Saito. On the right of your screen, we've got Adam Yurchik. I'm Ben SW, here with Ray Punzlan and Paulo Vitor Demeterosa, here to give you live coverage of the quarterfinal matchup here. Hello, everybody. Yep, and we were just talking about um, the Thopter Hypergenesis matchup. Paulo was telling us uh, how Thopter is favored here. Thopter, or Dark Depths, is favored in this matchup. Yeah, I believe it's favored. It, has, it interacts a lot more than Hypergenesis deck. So it can either combo or stop the other deck from comboing. Uh, and Saito needs to both be really fast and get uh, the perfect creatures in play. Because depending on what he does, Yuji can still trump him through Hypergenesis. For example, mm -hmm. if he does like Hypergenesis oh, yeah. and gets Progenitus and Trasado in play, mm -hmm. uh, that actually like helps Yuji to go Dark Mage Depths and that trumps his, his Hypergenesis. And if he goes, uh, for example, like Halkite, Angel, uh, your cheat can play a bunch of lands and make a bunch of topters. Yeah. So he needs both to be fast, not to be disrupted, and to have the right, right combination of creatures. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people were even expecting to see Hypergenesis this week. And all the talk was about Thopper deaths. I think uh, so, <laughs> you'd, you'd expect Saito to be pretty prepared for this matchup, at least. He has to feel fair, fairly comfortable with this matchup. Yeah, it is weird. He probably beat a lot of Thopter decks yeah. <laughs> to, to be there. I only w I watched like three Saito games, yes. and they were all against Zoo decks. But I know that he beat Gay Balls. I, I watched the Gay Balls match. Game one, he multi gave multi four. Okay. That okay. <laughs> so, the, so that was pretty rough. And uh, game the other game that and then in game three, Saito just had five guys after Hypergenesis. Yeah, so he just played five men and. Yeah, I heard yeah. that Saito could attack for 19. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, so he yeah, yeah. violent outburst. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what happened in game three. Because Gabe had the 20 20 out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 20 yeah, 20 out. But couldn't finish Saito off and he just dropped first. Yeah. I mean, when I was playing for Austin, we were playing the Dark Death stack with, without Totter. And it was really easy against Hyper Genius because we had four chalices and way more tutors. Now Yurchik does not have chalices, he has one chalice in the board. But I think this should be still in his favor. They're still shuffling. They got their decks are probably still sorted, so they're gonna give us a good long shuffle. They all just got their deck checks. Are there any th interesting cards like one ofs that you think are gonna tip it in either of the decks? Yeah, the chalice in Yushik Cyber is like really important. It really swings a matchup. Like it does so much for one slot. Uh, other than that, I don't think he's bringing anything relevant. He's probably bringing the Una and the Sphinx, so he can just, just put things, something yeah, to play with. Because he has uh, Into the Royal with Modern Engineer Explosives. Well, not Into the Royal, has like, Ripio with Modern Engineer Explosives, which are all terrible. Yeah. So I guess they're boarding those three cards. And I have no idea how Saito boards. I don't think he's going to board in the Ley Lines. Uh, because possibly he, the Chewers? Yeah, no, he's definitely boarding yeah, in the Chewers. And he might board in the Lions, but I don't think he will, because the 2-1 is more important, like, the Hex Mage combo is more important. And he might board in Ricochet Trap, but I don't think he will. And we also have now Jerry Thompson joining us here. How's it going, Jerry? Uh, mediocre. I'm alright. Just had some Burger King, it was delicious. So you're pretty well known for Thopter Dark Deaths, what do you think about this matchup? It is probably terrible. Kay. For yourself? Yes. See, Paolo just said the exact opposite. Why? <laughs> Why, yeah. why do you think it's bad for Tep? I mean, Saito is always drawing live. I mean, wow. he gets Thought Seized or whatever, and like he has a ton of just cards that instantly kill you. If he ever does cast Hypergenesis, you're basically dead. You can't do anything. You I mean, can play Hex Mage and Burnups. I understand that. But like, you can also Muddle the Hypergenesis or Thought Seizing. Maybe you can. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I would be able to. I don't know. It seems like uh, if 
Adam doesn't mulligan really aggressively and try and get like a really fast start, then he's probably just gonna die. You know? Um, I agree with you that I think like Leyline and the Trap both suck, but give the bracket. Ugh. So uh, maybe you guys can give some predictions. Yeah, no, there's other matchups. So we got the the Saito one, and we're about to watch. And now with the uh... Adam, you're tricking Tomohara Saito. Then we got Travis Wu versus Patrick Cox. Travis is playing the Living End deck, and Patrick's playing Slow Zoo. Uh, and then another. Our third matchup is Conley, who's playing the Bant Hammer, versus uh, Joby Parrish, who's playing a zoo deck, a slower zoo deck. And then our final match is Peter Brozek, who's playing the Boros deck, versus uh, Matthew Nass, who's playing Elves. So, I would not be surprised if all these matches didn't go to three games. Did not, or did? It, it, I, I think all these matches are going to go to three games, but I think it's going to be like Saito over your chick, which sucks because I have 10% of your chick. I think uh, Travis Wu is going to be Pat Cox. I'm not really sure about Conley against Joby. Like, the matchup doesn't seem all that good. Like, I'm re I really don't like Conley's deck. I think it's like pretty bad. He has a lot of bad cards in it, especially against Zoo. But like, I mean, he knows what he's doing, obviously. And I mean, I'm sure he's prepared for Zoo and like knows what's going on. So I think I think Conley will actually win. And the last one is the Boros against Elves. Rose yeah, they play the that in the Swiss. We watched them play that. And Matt, Matt got one. really lucky. Yeah, so. I mean, it seems like the Boros deck should just crush him, right? Yeah, he has a Volcanic Fallout on the board, even. Yeah. Matt just has, like, one Forge Tender. And, but... Matt basically uh, drew his one of... Uh, Essence Warden. Essence Warden, games. and it was more than enough. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <coughs> Alright, so the... I guess Saito here is contemplating his keep. Can we see what cards are in his hand? Can you guys get a... I can see Demonic Drag. Yeah, that's the only one that looks <laughs> visible right now. Keep. Well, he's keeping. Uh, and so there's a blue that. card I think is probably first for knowledge, because there's... So it's like a leads off with Gemstone. Come on, your check. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to be impartial? <laughs> yes. Usually! <laughs> so, so there we get a good look at his hand. I saw Oblivion Ring, Demonic Dread, uh, so a little one lander. This hand seems terrible. One lander with no, uh, Simeon Spirit Guide. But, no, not, fine. now it seems terrible. What do you think uh, your chick should be taking here? The demonic demonic dread. dread, not close. <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely figure? not not yeah. close. I mean, like it could he, be the Simeon Spirit Guide. It could be. I mean, like if your chick doesn't have a creature to to play for dread, like then it's fine, you know. Like, and that's what your chick chooses. Okay, Spirit Guide. Well, Saito drew a fungal reaches. Yep. <laughs> pretty lucky. To be fair, he could have drawn a better card, but that one's pretty close to being the best. <laughs> yes. I know he has the Dark Depths in his hand. This could be very good. Yurchik plays. Dark uh, Confidant. That's not good. That's all right, I guess. Yeah, that's weird. If he was going to play the Dark Confidant, don't you think he should have taken the Demonic Yeah, it seems like it. I don't know what. Is he just banking on him not drawing a land, like, and hoping to draw another thought? I mean, he's not, like, he's not, he's not, well, he's pretty dead if he draws a land. He's very dead, and all his permanents are gone. <laughs> he has, like, some 3-3s. Three uh, I mean, doesn't, doesn't Saito here need to draw another land to make that work? He does. Yeah, but it's easier to draw land than another, uh, like, yeah, it's right, another, right, yeah. Right, that's yeah, why he, I, I agree with taking the... Um, Saito's list, he only has seven, seven of the Cascade spells? No, he has oh, nine. Oh, he has nine. And he just draws third land. <laughs> Brock, let's Here goes Saito. Has a target for Demonic Dread. Yeah. And maybe your cheek has Hex Mage? Wow. He would have played Hex Mage yeah, last yeah, turn if he had it. God, he did draw land? What a sicko. Your chick reading Hypergenesis. <laughs> Remember that he has Angel of Despair, Terastodon, Oblivion. He's probably just gonna get his own lands, I suppose. Man, why did Adam think the Demonic Dread? What's going on here? Maybe Adam's just slow rolling us all with uh, 
Another thing, Clemens did not have the bobbing hand because he just removed one from the Yeah, box. I know. Exactly. <laughs>